purchase your tracks today. All right, let's get to it. All right, so as you can see in this video, this girl has two face piercings. We're gonna patch them up and make it look like she never had anything. And I'm gonna do the whole 25 seconds, so. Bring it back, okay, so. As you can see, it's pretty shaky, so it would be hard to track something like this. So, okay, let's go down spot phone tracker. Okay, so once you, it's just similar to the, to any other spot clone, any cloning, such as the link Photoshop or Zillit Paint. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is, this is where you're sampling from and that's where you're cloning. This is where you sample and this is where you clone. So I'm going to go ahead and reshape this a little bit. Just put it sort of like that. Right here you can feather it in, feather it out. But if you go past where the hand boundary is, you're going to see the dark. Make sure you stay a little bit like that. Maybe move it in a little here. Okay, so also if you click on this little dot, you can rotate how to sample. So I'll keep like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast track it since there is nothing that gets on the way except for this little part right here. Other than that, I shouldn't have a problem tracking this. Because if you do it on this, it's gonna be a bit slower. Okay, so once you do that, you just have to track the position. And you can choose what kind of repair method you want, such as, we're gonna just leave it on repair. And we're gonna track forward. So this is tracking in real time and it's actually faster than After Effects so it looks like it's frozen but it's not. It's actually tracking. And you're able to see if it looks bad just by, by the shade. If you see like a darker shade in her skin, it's probably a bad tracking. So, so I'm going to go ahead and let it run. Okay, so once it's done tracking, let's go ahead and check it. Make sure it looks nice. So you can see it looks pretty good. So it looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and just duplicate this layer. Now let's go ahead and drop another 
first five long track right here. Or you can pre-compose it whichever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and move this a little bit in. I only need to cover just enough of the the ring to and then just feather it out a little bit. So you can see it looks okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and track it. This time I'm gonna track it slower because I am gonna have to cut it in parts. So I'm gonna track it slowly. Track it forward. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in like four parts just to make sure it tracks okay. But like I said, you should be able to see when it tracks not good, so. Sort of like around this part. So as you can see right here, it looks like a little blurry. That's not a good track. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop her right here. Go back to that part where it looks kind of blurry, kind of gives it away like there's something right there. You see, it's like a little blur patch. So, right before that happens, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it first, put the back, and then get this part here. on this now click on the bottom one since there's two of them so this part here I'm gonna go ahead and change the the shape stretch it a little bit Okay, so what you want to do is keep the feather boundary off the finger so you have a nice clean clean patch. Alright, so let's go ahead and track it forward. And as you're tracking it, you should notice any mistakes, such as like right here. Okay, we're gonna stop it. Once again, it starts to look a little dark. It goes from light to dark, so that gives it away.
Okay, so that's how you remove a face piercing and using spot clone tracker. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this and comment, let me know what you think of this.